Hello. Uh, this is my Ford Explorer 2007. I will show you how to to fix the blower motor resistor. Because uh, <clears throat> when you turn this when you turn this fan to the AC it didn't work on one two three it only works at four so it is the blower resistor for the for the blower this is this is the blower the blower this the blower that one the resistor is here for this 2007 this that's the resistor it's covered with wire how can I let me oh my god I can't it's hard it's this that one with the 8mm 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 screw that one you can also take that from here to remove the glue box I just removed the resistor. This is the resistor. Now I break it. I broke it. Oh, I disconnected. I broke it because, in order to remove it easily, you need to remove this. You need to remove this. Discovered that after a break, I break the resistor. Anyway, just I will just be buying another one because it's broken already. Cannot take it out. But in order to to do that easily, you need to remove this cable. The cable. This harness from the from where it is attached. It's not easy to... It's not easy. This is the best... The best tool. For this, for this work. 
Ask you, can you just an extension of the cylinder carrier? This is an 8mm ratcheting box rights. Okay. So it looks like. Yeah, I need to buy one. This is the new one that I bought. Oh my god, after replacing this expensive thing, this one, it's expensive for me because it's 82 24 Online you can buy it at Twenty dollars with some with some charges for delivery, but if you are not in a hurry to replace it, but mine I don't have a choice. Eighty-two versus twenty to forty, you can save more than half. It's working now. Oh. It's working now. It's working. This one, two, three is important during winter to depress the windshield yeah, because it controls the temperature. It works now. Oh my goodness! Number four, it works even without that, but it. Uh, sometimes it doesn't depress the, the the windshield. It doesn't control the temperature. It's just blowing. Oh, it's good now. It's working now. You can hear the air. Okay. Now it's good. It will be good for another five five years. Hopefully, the only problem that I have in this 2007 Ford Explorer, I cannot find the cabin air, cabin air filter. They said it's it's behind this glove box, but no, I can't find it. It's, it's not in there. Can't find it. Can't find any any video about. 2007 cabin air filter for Port Explorer. If you have that, uh, please comment below and send me the link so I can I can see it. Thank you. And this is good now. It's better than going to to mechanics that will rip you up. Yeah, it will cost you maybe 300 or to 500, and they will add the problem or issue in your car. That's the mechanics nowadays. So it's better to do it yourself if you can do it. Okay. Thank you. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoy it.